Well, also, Caleb Wesson, to stay disciplined and not go for Easton's kind of pump fake. Caleb Wesson, the deep three is good, and that's a part of his game that has grown exponentially this year. Not the mismatch against Jahan Proctor. Double comes, and Hunter with a steal. Yeah, that time, Caleb wanted to set up and kind of get his man open. That time, the extra dribble calls a turnover. And that's why Proctor's in the starting line. Better believe it, but averages 13 points per game over the last five is Proctor. Andre Wesson, red hot from three all year at 46% from behind the arc. On the peering inside to Wesson. Great double team again, not going to allow Caleb Wesson to be comfortable, but once again, he's able to identify where the double team came from. Who drove to the foul line, lost the handle on that one. Seven on the shot clock for Eric Hunter Jr. He'll launch the three. Big bucket for Purdue. And a bailout, but Hunter figured out a little bit of the problems that hit him mid-season. So Ohio State team back up to 16 and 8 as C.J. Walker hits the three. Well, it's consistency with not only Ohio State, but you look at the losses, circle a couple games that they've done. Buckeyes have hit five straight, now the turnover. Walker on the drive, nice scoop to the rim for C.J. Walker. Six straight buckets for the Buckeyes. Now when C.J. can do that, Wheeler will start it up for Purdue. Just Travion Williams. Working against Young, and Williams using the window. Well, that time Williams is able to walk up the lane a little bit. Ohio State is doing a really good job of being active with their hands. So, is, so are the Boilermakers. Washington with the three rounds at home. They skip the arms. Got an open look. You're still in this game. Well, even if they get the stop and they can go in seven under double digits, that's a way. Well, <laughs> that, kind of, that kind of took away. He is not anymore as we start this second half. Kyle Young on the attack to the baseline. A little will play, but that time you want, they wanted to post up Chris Holtman. A confidence perspective, it just wasn't in place for a man home against Penn State. Walker short with that one, got his own rebound. There's Luther Muhammad in the corner. The three falls. A big time shot for Luther. Two guy to play with because he's unselfish and makes the right play. Made the right play there for the left hand. But, but it was easy that time. And this historically has been a terrible building for Purdue basketball. Boudreaux hits the three. They've won two straight here, but before that, 14 point advantage. Thompson's try is short. Wesson with the rebound. Seven boards for Wesson. Walker to Young. One hard dribble and to the rim. But give that a lot of credit to Wesson. The entry to Liddell. Working against Stefanovic. Harms there for the rejection. And, and Harms were waiting for that, knowing that Liddell had the advantage inside. So he did just leave his teammate out there by himself. Rob ways to be a little bit more consistent on the offensive end. Maybe it's yourself to the free throw line if you just saw the free throw. And the skip intercepted by Jahan Proctor. Proctor running up to Wesson and lays it in. Hunter to work for Purdue. Down by oh, 13. Yeah, Eastern inside too. Here's Proctor going baseline. Jahan Proctor making things happen. He's got 13. Kind of just what what guys the jump shot there by Wesson, a big time shot, but it goes back to with Wesson the cross court to Muhammad. Open three. Boudreaux working against Andre Wesson. The jump stop for Boudreaux. Got his own miss, yeah. and he'll go to the line for one more. Walker, the lob to Young, and Kyle Young with a two-hand hammer. Caleb Wesson back to C.J. Walker. Young on the baseline. Up oh, catch, Caleb Wesson rejected by Harms. Wow, great defense by Harms. You know, besides Joel and B, he's inside out. You just don't have Rudy Gobert. Oh, great shot. Again, you know, and again, it's a skip pass. Yep. Ten on the shot clock for Muhammad. Nice bounce, nice grab, nice finish, Kyle Young. A 68-52 win at home over the Boilermakers.